In this uh, session, I am going to uh, deal with uh, hedging with uh, futures and uh, options, wherein I am primarily uh, looking at uh, covering uh, three major aspects. One is the concept of basis. Two, I would like to look at uh, exchange for physicals. And I would also like to uh, focus on options on futures. These three major uh, topics I would like to uh, look at. So whenever uh, uh, I talk about the word basis, let me start with this. Basis at any point in time, when we talk about the basis, we say Basis is the difference between the spot price and the corresponding futures price. So, if the futures price is less than the spot price, then probably the basis is positive. Futures price greater than the spot price, the basis is negative. One aspect. Now, then across time, as the time passes, if the difference increases, if the difference, if the basis increases with time, if the basis increases with time, we say the basis is strengthening. If it decreases with time, we say that the basis is weakening. One more uh, dimension with respect to the basis. When we say the, so which means if the spot price, sometimes uh, we use the word cash price per spot price. If the spot price increases faster than the futures price, obviously the gap is going to widen, then that is where we say that the basis is strengthening. But if the futures price is increasing faster compared to the spot price, obviously the gap is getting narrower. Then we say that the basis is weakening. Or even in terms of a fall, if the spot price is falling much lesser, Whereas the futures price is falling very heavily, even then the gap is increasing very much. Then also we say that the basis is strengthening. Whereas if the spot price is falling drastically, but the futures price is falling only little, then again we see that the gap is narrowing, so we call as the basis is weakening. So, one thing, uh, when I am talking about uh, the basis trading, when we use the word trading on basis, people mean, so you take either a long or short position in the spot market or the cash market and exactly opposite position in the futures market. When the combination of these two things is what is a typical basis trade and in this we have two major trades one we call as long the basis means in the basis trade you are in a long position or short the basis you are in the short position in the basis trade so when i say long the basis you are long in the spot and short in the futures. So it is basically to do with the spot position. Even here when I say short the basis, we are talking about short in the spot or short in the cash and long in the futures. This is the short the basis position. So when you are long in the spot, obviously uh, when the basis is widening, 
when the basis is strengthening this position will have a benefit when the basis uh, is uh, strengthening this position will have a benefit when the basis is weakening this position will have a benefit so there is uh, a lot of things uh, that happen with respect to uh, trading uh, on the basis uh, so we need to understand uh, these terms the long the basis short the basis what is the long basis position uh, consists of when will it be profitable how should the spot rate uh, be fluctuating with respect to the futures price and vice versa all these things uh, need to be thoroughly uh, understood as a part of this basis this is one topic which i wanted to talk about in this uh, session the second important uh, topic which i wanted to touch base here with respect to the futures transactions again is exchange for physicals we call it as efp here also what we say is let's say i'm talking about two parties a and b here let's say a is having like this long in the spot long in the spot market and uh, uh, so basically uh, uh, we are talking about uh, an asset or a physical asset or a commodity here he is having positions where he is long in the spot market but short in the futures market whereas i am seeing b as another party who is short in the spot market who has sold the asset and is long in the futures market so when this kind of positions are there for these two kind of parties they can come together get into a negotiation process they can do the settlement of the floor of the exchange obviously uh, uh, this is more heavily uh, th this kind of uh, transactions you see very heavily in the energy market as well as the financial uh, futures market these two uh, assets is where uh, you are seeing that uh, this is much heavy and uh, this actually brings a lot of uh, things to ground the certainty in the prices this promotes lots and lots of certainty in prices it even uh, provides a lot of uh, negotiation and customization of the contract between the parties now there is no need to be driven by the exchange so no need of standardization involved in the process lot of negotiations and customization of the deal can happen availability round the clock is one more uh, advantage with this kind of a mechanism and even uh, even th there is a lot of certainty in the price and even the execution of the transaction irrespective of whether there is a, a market existing or not market depth is nowhere a concern in this kind of a process so that is where the exchange for physicals wherein uh, uh, two parties they have exactly opposite positions in the spot and the futures market can come together use the of the exchange transaction and uh, very well uh, get into the settlement process but uh, from the exchanges dimension this kind of uh, settlement is restricted only for those players who are trading in the underlying spot market mandatory for for people to enter into exchange for physicals trading in the underlying uh, underlying assets uh, cash market or spot market is very much uh, a necessity so this is the dimension that we can uh, associate uh, with uh, exchange for physicals kind of a mechanism then one more important uh, tool for hedging that is discussed in this session is options on futures as the word itself is saying i am not getting into a future contract today 
I am getting into an option contract today. What is the option contract uh, telling me? Whether I would like to enter into a future, enter into futures contract at a later date. That is what is this option contract giving me the benefit. So basically it's like this. Okay, this is today. This is the option expiry date. And uh, the futures start date. The start date for the futures contract. And uh, futures expiry date or the actual transaction date. Right? So this is what uh, is the options on futures all about. So probably at this date, so this is the expiry date of the option. On this date, uh, the party can choose whether uh, he or she would enter into a futures contract at this date or not. If they don't want to enter into a futures contract, they can expire off and uh, they can expire the contract and primarily uh, only the premium that has been paid today uh, towards that uh, option is what uh, is the loss in the process. Whereas uh, if they come here, they can decide on whether they would like to enter into the futures uh, contract at this particular date. If they are planning to enter into the futures uh, contract, the settlement uh, happens at this particular uh, date and that is what uh, is the benefit that is uh, coming up because of the ex uh, exercising of this uh, particular option. So basically there are two major uh, things that need to uh, focus on uh, here because whenever we are talking about uh, options on futures, one the, 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 from a basis uh, dimension or from any uh, pricing dimension, I am seeing here, there is a difference between the spot price and the futures price. There is one dimension that I need to clearly look at and even the futures price minus the options premium. Even that is uh, the, the relationship that is existing between these two dimensions is uh, something that needs to be uh, focused on. So from any hedging dimension, I am always interested in looking at, see generally from a hedging perspective, I could have uh, gone for let's say short the asset and long futures, short in the asset or cash market and long in the futures market or probably, uh, or probably long in the options market. When I am talking about option on uh, futures or similarly I could have uh, gone long in the cash market and probably short in the options market. So what I really need to see is whether my mechanism is profitable or not. I have to see what is the benefit that I am getting in the cash position and what is the benefit or loss that is coming in the options position. The net is the net profit or loss that I am getting by entering into this options on futures position compared to uh, not getting into it. So these are the three major uh, dimensions that I need to uh, focus on with respect to uh, hedging uh, using the futures and option. If you have any further queries regarding the same, you can very well get back to me by giving me a call on the number that I have provided below. Or you can send in an email at vamsidhar at facegurus.com. Thanks a lot for listening to this uh, session. Thank you very much.